Hi students, in this video we're going to look at how to use differentiation to determine the equations of tangents. So after watching this video you should be able to determine the gradient of a tangent and also the equation of a tangent. So a couple of things to recall. So first of all the formal definition of our derivative. Again, this will be useful if we don't need to find our gradient, our instantaneous gradient, if we don't know the rule to follow. But if we do have a power or polynomial function, we do have this rule. But power comes to the front and then the power goes down by one. That will be important to use as well as we go through this video. Now, first of all, we need some good definitions. So a tangent is a line that passes through a point on a function that has the same instantaneous rate of change, or that is the same gradient as that point on the function. So looking at this example here, what we've got is a point on our function, negative 2, 18, and we've got a line that goes through our point. Now, what makes this line, the dotted orange one, a tangent is that the gradient of this line is the same as the instantaneous gradient of our uh, cubic here at the point 2, negative 2, 18. So their gradients are the same. Now, what this means then in order to find the equation of a tangent is we need to know two things. We will need to know the point that our tangent is going through, so the coordinates of the point that our tangent is going through. And we'll also need to know the gradient, so our m value for our line. Or because we're doing calculus and using derivatives, we're going to need to find the derivative of our function at that point too. And with our point and with our gradient, we can work out the equation of a line like we have done in the past. All right, so our steps. Uh, first of all, we want to determine the coordinates of our point on the function by substituting in the x coordinate into the function. So that is our original function. Okay, our original function f of x. And then after that, we'll get our gradient by substituting in our x coordinate into f dash or f prime to get our gradient. Then we can work out the value of c by substituting in m our gradient and the points that our line goes through, just like we have done in grade 10 and other years as well. So those are our three steps. Get the coordinates of our point, find our gradient, then determine the value of c, and then we've got y equals mx plus c, where m is going to be the derivative of our function at the point where our tangent is passing through. All right, so let's do an example. Uh, determine the equation of the tangent that passes through the function, y equals x cubed minus 2x plus 1 at the point x equals 2. So our first step is we need our point. So substituting in 2, into our formula, y is going to equal 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 1. That's 8 minus 4 plus 1, 5. So the point on our curve is 2, positive 5. The second thing we need now is our gradient. And so to use that, to find our gradient, we will need our derivative. So dy dx of our function, <coughs> sorry, so to start off with, we've got x cubed, so 3 comes to the front and then the power goes down by 2. Derivative of negative 2x, well that's just the coefficient, negative 2, and plus 1 derives to 0 because it's a constant. So there's our, our derivative, there's our derivative function, our gradient function. And then at x equals 2, dy dx at x equals 2 equals 3 times 2 squared minus 2. That's 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. 
minus two ten is the gradient on of our function at x equals two. Now this is all the information we need to start working out the equation of our line. So three for our line. We know already that our lines will have the formula y equals 10x plus c. And we know that because we just worked out the gradient. The gradient we worked out would be 10. And so in our uh, equation of a line, y equals mx plus c, we can substitute 10 in for m, our gradient, because we just worked it out. Now, if we don't know the rule to derive our function, once again, you can use um, those two points that are really close together to get a good approximation for the instantaneous gradient if you do not know the rule. All right, so now we've got our gradient. We just need to work out C. So we're going to sub in our point to 5 that we got from step 1. So our Y value is 5, our X value is 2. So 5 equals 20 plus C. So C must be equal to negative 15. And therefore, we've got the equation of our line, y equals 10x minus 15. And that's the equation of our tangent that passes through our cubic here at the point x equals 2. Right, students, so after watching this video, you should be able to determine the gradient of a tangent and also the equation of a tangent using differentiation.